Tell me who I'm here with and yeah. what it is you do. Really real. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a music artist, but I also have a lot of other mediums of creativity. Just having fun, creating shit. Absolutely. So, tell me about music. When did that start for you and when did it stick? Um, I've been making music since I was a kid. Um, honestly, I've been like writing music since I was a kid. I had like tons of mentors in music since I was a kid. Like musical theater in school, I guess that's kind of how it started. Just like seeing productions from like older classmen and stuff when I was like in elementary school. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that. And I was just like, performing was just something that really came natural for me. But I also thought it was so fun to just like jump into characters. Um, and yeah, like just, there's a lot of different things that kind of stuck with me as to why I want, I knew I wanted to be a music artist, but I just remember being a kid and just like seeing people either perform, seeing Michael Jackson's music videos on like MTV and stuff. Um, and I was just like, yeah, like this is, this is what I want to do for myself. So what's it been like moving through the NYC musician scene, doing shows, getting your name out there? Like, describe mm -hmm. that journey for me so far. Um, it's been soup. It's been a journey. It's been fun. Like it's been. There's been. It's been like I've had like okay, like so you're, you're a literal uh, blast. Honestly, like meeting other artists, going to their stuff, seeing how they do their thing, doing my own thing, come people coming to support me. I think what's really cool about the underground scene here, and I say underground because you know, like it's not like we're like we're not super known or anything, but. The people like in my circle, so their other circles have so many like dope connections that like anybody could pop off in any minute. It's really a matter of like building this genuine scene and energy that happens here. And when you see it and when you come to like an underground festival or underground artist's show, you know, like you really see the energy there. It's like so intimate and it's so beautiful. And I think that's something that's really dope about the scene here and the music scene. Um, but on the flip side, you know, there definitely is parts where it is very like, you know, <clears throat> face value, lots of ego and shit. But I think what's cool about my circle is we kind of bring that quality that's like, we, we come to shows, we ground and we make it some homies. It's very, it's very much more open. Um, and that's like, that's where I try to go with it, with the shows I put together, the artists that I put on my show. Like, it'd be a mix of established and like artists that hasn't even made the show yet. So it's like. I just want to create like a community where things are supportive, but also like it's, it's dope. It's just dope shit, and I think everyone deserves that chance. You're a really polite person, and I think your your style is what drives a lot of draws a lot of folks in um, to your brand as an artist. Um, it definitely did me. Uh, where do you think that comes from? Like where where does really real style <laughs> um, originate? The, uh, it comes from so many places. Uh, just like seeing tons of music videos. It's like really like, I'm very like big on like, like diving into archives of things and like, like magazines and Pinterest boards and also just being from Brooklyn. Like that's the first one. Yeah. And um, being like Afro Latina, being black, like, you know, in New York, like, you know what I'm you saying? Know, sorry, like, yeah. I think I just pulled inspiration from like tons of different sources like if, if someone says that, that they're not inspired by anything and they're really one of one of one like all like like Impossible. everyone's copying it's crazy because yeah. like there's even an idea a sentence a word a color can inspire us you know so all of that stuff is definitely i just like i start with a color and i, I keep going or i you know I like matching. Sometimes I've been getting lately into like the pastels and shit and like um, grounding colors, but I wanted to pop out today. You know, what for are the your show. colors? I, I really like red. I really like green. I like blue. But I like like the, I also like primary colors. Like those like the hard red, the hard yellow. I think yellow is a primary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like like the hard original colors, like the colors that we learned in school. Yeah. I really gravitate to like like those type of colors. Hip hop has made it to fifty years now. 
how significant do you feel like its cultural impact has been, especially in New York City? Um, yeah, I mean, hip hop starting in New York, but definitely like bringing on roots from Africa and the Caribbean. I think like it, hip hop has grown so immensely. Hip hop isn't definitely, it's 100%. We all know it's not the same as like when it first started, but I think the elements of what started hip hop is starting to like, like come back. Okay. You know, like history repeats itself. I've been starting to see like, boom bap artists get more a little more mainstream like newer like my generation and um i've been just seeing stuff like storytelling kind of come back i'm like oh shit or like people featuring with like artists that like were building the foundations of hip-hop back then so i'm actually very grateful to be like in this period and experience the 50 years and be an artist because 10 years ago i wasn't like an out you know I wasn't able to celebrate like 40 years of hip hop as an artist. So I'm so grateful. And this year, you know, I met Busta Rhymes and I was talking to him about um, Hip Hop 50. And he gave me some amazing like advice and inspirational words like this year. And I was a part of um, the Good Morning America um, Hip Hop 50 showcase. And they had me as like young Missy Elliott, which was super fucking funny. and because everyone always compares me to her, like visually. Um, and I love Missy so much. So I'm like, I'm feeling the love this year. And also like, I've been in such, I've been in such like, I've been so honestly so grateful to be a part of the rooms that I've been in this year with like tons of hip hop artists and hip hop producers and like legendary names, new upcoming artists. This has definitely been a year of hip hop. I'm not gonna lie, like for real, for real, I'm feeling the 50 years of hip hop. Read more of what Really Real and other hip-hop artists have to say in 20XX Magazine, issue number three, coming this summer. Sign up for our newsletter online to get updates about new interviews and releases.